Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to take a new topic that is called simplification of context free grammar. It is very important topic when you move for the context free grammar recognition that is whether this can be done by a computer whether the parser can do this grammar. Every uh, grammar that a parser drew is called context free grammar but some context free grammar may contain some constructs which can be done by a parser. So uh, before doing that we must simplify what context free grammar so simplification consists of three steps that is first is the elimination of the null production that is done by this video and we see the two uh, more steps to be done in the simplification which can be seen in the one by one video and we will see a whole example how to simplify the context free grammar with the three step so I have said already this is the first step that is the elimination of the null production that is if a production contains null that can be eliminated because null means nothing so why we are wasting that null or why we are wasting the computer by storing a null production it is a useless variable or it is have no significance so it can be eliminated so any variable that produces null or that provides null is called nullable variable okay any variable that provides null or produces null is called nullable variable look at this grammar which all are nullable variable a derives null so a is a nullable variable and b derives null b is a what nullable variable so how we can avoid it so look at the rh which all rhs comes a and b once again I will say if nullable variables first we have to recognize which all variables are nullable variables after that you must look into the remaining production and in the remaining production where all A and B comes where all A and B comes only here A and B comes okay if it comes two or more places you must also circle that so look at here so in the avoidance of or the elimination of the nullable variable or null production when we eliminate you must put it and not put it that means you must preserve this production a b and you must also write the production that is a derives null so a will not be here so remaining will be what b okay when b derives null what will be the a only remaining so it derives what a okay so once again i will say to remove a you um, null production then you must look into the productions which all productions of the rhs which all these two nullable variable comes and you must preserve the nullable variable as it is and also make the production which produces the null that is you must take it and avoid it that is here we are taking a and b and first we are avoiding a then what will be remaining then we are avoiding b what will be remaining that is you must take it and eliminate it so take a and b as a whole and eliminate first eliminate a that is eliminate a means a derives null so a can a can be what null here so we can eliminate a here and also in the next time if we considering b null that also b what null okay so we are considering here but we can't put two times null here that is if a we have done up to here s gives a s or a b or b or what a okay so when you when is it is in the concept a and b a derives null and b derives null this two are deriving null but we can't take like that because if a and b both derives null the s derives what null in the uh, theory of the context free grammar simplifications or in the elimination of the null production a starting symbol can't be derived what null so if starting symbol derives null we don't put it as null or uh, we, in this case we can't specify it or we can specify null also this can be said or not spare it's no problem but we can't put a and b as null because if a and b all are put as null it will be 
what starting production will derives what null so this must be what avoided so this must not be take but if the situation was like this if a s or a b or null then we must take here null this null can't be what avoided because starting production null can't be avoided but in all other case when uh, the starting production uh, indirectly derives null that null can't be what specified it is better to not to specify that because otherwise uh, it will be looking like what null will be happening here so uh, by the simplification of this grammar what will we get as gives a s yes, or a b or b or a and d derives what b okay this is a simple concept and we can move into the second example which we will get more idea look at here which is a nullable variable here a derives epsilon is a nullable variable so what will we do we preserve it and eliminate it isn't it so we preserve this what a a b and what we eliminate a so what will become a b we preserve it and eliminate it preserve the production as it is and eliminate the nullable variable in the next step so a a b likewise we have done here we preserve a b and first we eliminate a then uh, then get the production we have written and next we eliminate b and the production we have written like that preserve it and eliminate it okay so look at here this is the production but this is being avoided but look at here whether this is useful no because no production is coming for the non terminal a so that can be avoided and we can like like here why we have avoided this because there is no production which are deriving now but it is that it is a useless production so we can what avoid it okay this is a useless production so avoid it that's the better concept here also we can avoid it but i have not said because useless production avoiding we can uh, we will be dealing with in the next video but as such as when i explaining it to get an idea look at here this is a useless production because no non terminal no production of a is coming so that must be what avoided okay so ultimate uh, reduced grammar or ultimate simplified context free grammar will be as gives a s b or a b here also yes give a s a b b or a but b and a has no production here so this can be avoided but now we are not dealing with it i just said there there is uh, sometimes when we remove null production there will be some useless production so that must be also be avoided that will be dealing with in the next video so i think you have get an idea every time when you remove the null production you preserve it and remove it nullable we variables is preserving it and removing it and if we when we remove it there will be useless production that can also be removed likewise i have said here this also has useless production but uh, make it as it we uh, we will be dealing with in the next video so look at the third example what are the nullable variable a is a nullable variable and b is a nullable variable okay so what will we do we can start from the last uh, production that is b derives preserve it and eliminate it so we are preserving it and eliminate first b we will get what b b and next b also eliminate we get same grammar isn't it and two b's can be eliminated and we will get what small p okay so whether this and this be eliminated we get same grammar is that is why i have written only bb if it is was new production you must return like that okay next one a gives preserve it and eliminate it so will become a a a that i am preserving it and i am making null then we will get what a a so if i make both null i will get what a okay in the next what will be get yes gives i preserve a b as a whole then i make a as null and i will get b and i will make b as null i will get what a okay so that's it 
uh, that is every time you must preserve it and eliminate it preserve the production since if you are not preserving that grammar what is the original language that grammar is determining that becomes what um, that becomes vanished so you must preserve the grammar and preserve the language so every time you must preserve it and then eliminate it but ultimately the context free grammar must re uh, recognize the same language as such which has which it has have been having null production same grammar must be recognized okay thank you